Today we're going to make a blue line princess outfit, which is a sports bra, a detached bodice, and in the back there is a little bit of a train. You're going to need a sports bra, six buttons, some ribbon, some fabric that's got a drape, and a machine with a buttonhole fit. The first step is to position the buttons onto the, the bra. I just basically eyeballed it. I put three in the front and three in the back. I'm going to, if you've never sewn on a button, take my needle and I'm gonna go in underneath here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to go through both layers of this band. I'm just gonna go through the top layer if I can. So I'm just going through real quick. I'm gonna get this started. That's where I double knotted that knot. Now we'll put the button on. And in this case, I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna go through the other hole of that button. And again, we'll just take a little tiny bit in there. And we're going to come up through that hole of that button again. And we're just going to go more. down. We'll go through. And then, because we're going to put this band on here, ultimately, it's going to have some bulk. We're going to wrap around one, two, three. And now I'm just going to go a little bit through here again. Get the thread into that fabric and we'll do it again and then we'll tie a knot similar to how we tied a knot with that tail at the very beginning. After you've sewn the buttons on by hand is you're going to measure the amount of the band you need and when you're doing this you're going to use a tape measure or just use the ribbon itself and take a big deep breath you're going to see that your rib cage expands when you're running and you're going to need to have that ease, that extra gap before. Next step is to mark and sew the buttonholes onto the band. After sewing the buttonholes, you can see where there's going to be some ease. Next step is to measure out your tool that you're going to sew on one thing you want to do is see where your button is going to be. But then also, I would like to make sure that it doesn't go beyond the bottom of your shorts or you may have some chafing. I left about nine inches on each side so that when you're done, you can have a train on the back. Now we're going to sew the band to the bodice. So now you have all your pieces and it's ready to assemble. I measured the top of my arm, my wrist, and the length of my arm that I want the sleeves to be. I sewed this with a zigzag stitch, otherwise it's not going to stretch. So once you have everything done, you can continue to embellish your top, add on some accessories, and you're ready to go. Have fun!